Tell a friend to tell a friend that do it all haul is in. And we're back with another NBA 2K23 next gen build video. And today I have a special all around threat build for you guys. And if you know anything about the all around threat, man, it does take a lot to create this build. So if you want this build taller, man, it's going to be really, really hard to get everything that you are supposed to have and still keep the name because 2K was very specific on this particular build for NBA 2K23. So I'm going to show you the way to create it at the point guard position. Um, you can change the height up a little bit if you want to, but you can't do too much because it's going to cost you. Uh, so with this build, we're going with the point guard position. Choose the hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. But before I go any further, you already know what time it is. If you don't know, now you know. It's like button time, and I need you guys to go down and hit that like button. Get this video to about 100 likes. That's the goal. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't. So with this build, like I said, man, you got to do a lot to keep the name for this bill so we went with six foot one yes that's a shrimp we all know that but there are a lot of people out there that like the six one bills i tried to build at six two with the same stats and i couldn't even finish the bill out so that lets you know that you need a lot in order to keep the bill name for the all-around threat 188 on the way 16 wingspan built by the shape let's get into the bill we're going to start with the finishing and since you are all around threat now this is something you don't have to do right I took the driving dunk to an 86. If you don't want a driving dunk of an 86 and you want to take it down some, you can most definitely do that. Or you can take all of it off if you want to. If you want to go that route, that's fine too. But we took it to an 86 for this particular build. For the driving layup, we're going to get that up to a 90. You can't take it down, man. I tried to take it down to an 89. 2K wouldn't let me be great, but there may be a way that you can go and finesse it, but I doubt it because they want so much on the driving layup and the close shot, which I don't understand. Um, so we're going to take that close shot to an 85. And that will allow us to get fast twitch on goal. Uh, we get 24 total finishing badges, which is really, really good. So I will use limitless takeoff, slithery, posterizer, fast twitch, acrobat, fearless. So that's 7, 14, 20, 25, 30, 35 badges, man. As it said, now we have 24. We will need 11 more. But you do get a plus seven once you're able to core tier three badge on gold. And then you can add four or you can just core two badges in one category. With me, I would probably add the four badges or whatever. But let's go ahead and get it to the green bean. Make your girls green badge. And this build does have some three-point shooting. And this was another thing that I was talking about. You have to get the three-point shot and the mid-range shot to at least an 88, right? That's the minimum just to get this name so what i did was i took the three point shot to an 89 just so you can get gold agent three so some people out there may want that badge and some people don't but i made it so the people that want the gold agent three they will have it for this bill and the free throw i mean i'm tripping not an 88 you got to get it to an 80 i'm sorry about that you got to get it to an 80 on the mid-range shot i'm thinking about a sharpshooter or something like that but you do have to get it to an 80 and the free throw is a 73 and as you guys can see, we do get 24 of them things, man. You know what I'm talking about? So, I will go with limitless range. We'll go with AJ3 on this build. Catch and shoot. Amp. Green machine. Volume shooter. Slippery all ball. I like that badge. Um, Claymore. Corner specialist. Those are the badges that I would use. You can pick the badge you want to use. That's totally up to you. It's your build. It's your ground. It's your time. But at the end of the day, you are a great shooter. Um, you can finish good. You can make plays because you will be able to get your own shot and you will be able to get your teammates a shot. And I will show you that next. But with the shooting badge, man, make sure you choose the right badge. Make sure you go out there and practice with your jump shot. Um, get as much playing time as you can so you can learn the jump shot. It's all muscle memory for me. So I can't really tell you, hey, the release point is right here, right there. You know, no, I just go out there and shoot, man. But let's go ahead and get it to the sauce. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody and their mama can see this video. And I need everybody and their mama to see the video. So do that for you, yeah, boy, boy. Spiegel Ball, we're going to take that to a 79. All right. Now, I did have it at an 80, but um, you don't get nothing at an 80. You get a one you get one tick on the speed with ball, but I took it to a 79 to do some other things. For the ball handle, we do have that at a 90, and that will allow us to get... Hall of Fame quick first step, which is really good. We also get gold unpluckable on this build, so you won't get plucked like a chicken, even though you still run into people and lose the ball, so I don't like that. For the pass accuracy, we're going to get that up to an 86, and that will allow us to get gold needed threaded, which is a very important bad for any point guard, in my opinion. And we do get 24 total playmaking badges, right? So I would use handle for days, clamp breaker, unpluckable, hyperdrive, quick first step, 
needle thread, an anchor breaker, dimer, and everything else is pretty much icing on the cake. And I also like special delivery too, man. I've been using that badge a lot lately, and that badge does work really, really good. So if you want to go out there and have some fun, throw you some alleys, um, throw that badge on right there, man. It's a really fun badge. You know, when you see your teammates getting excited for a flashy pass and, you know, they go dunk it or they shoot it, you know, that, that that's that's good, you know. But let's go ahead and get it to the defense and the rebounding badge, all right? Given the fact that you are 6-1, yes, we want as much defense as we can get. So we took the perimeter defense up to an 86, which is pretty good in my opinion. Um, you will be able to slow some people down on the perimeter. Not saying you're going to necessarily stop somebody, but you can slow them down, and that's the most important thing. A lot of people just think you have to completely stop somebody, which is not true. You can just slow people down, man, and that will help you out. You know, the help will come from your teammates, and then y'all can play defense as a group. For the steal, we're going to get that to an 86 as well. The reason I did that is because that's the way you get the all-around threat. Now, if you just leave it at 85, you're going to have to take the perimeter defense up to an 88 or something like that. But we left it at an 86, and we did 86 right there. Even though we don't get a badge, we had to do that to keep the name of the bill. And as you can see, um, we do get intercept on silver, glove on silver. Two very important badges to get steals on this game. If you want to get more steals, please take your steal up. Because when your steal is low, you reach really, really slow. And not saying you can't get steals. You can run into somebody to get a steal. But as far as um, you just reaching and getting steals, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, for the block, we're going to take that block up to a 64. And as you guys can see, we do get um, silver chase down artists on this build which is really good not saying you're gonna block a lot of shots because you are 61 but you do have it on your bill and we do have a 41 on the rebound which is not important so we do get 21 total badges i will use clamps intercept the glove throw in minutes chase down and pogo that's about it for me um everything else is pretty much icing on the cake but to be honest if this was my bill i would use rebound chase sound a little bit crazy but i would use that badge for real for real so look at the combination 24 24 24 21 not bad. For the speed, we have 85. We did 85, 85 this time. Normally, I do 80, uh, 90 acceleration and 75 speed, but we did 85, 85 this time. We have a 40 on the strength, 75 vert, and the rest is on stamina. Now, let's get into the takeover. So, we have finishing, sharp shooting, playmaking, and big lock. We can just choose something for the video. Are you ready? Because guess what? I do not clickbait. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. We do have shades of... World Be Free, we got Darius Garland, and we have De'Aaron Fox. And the build name is the All Around Threat. Now, there are multiple ways you can make this build depending on what you want. But this is the way that I created it, and I think it's a pretty good build. But that's it, man. I'm out of here like last year, y'all. Charge!